Today, I'm joined by a very special guest, a man of a thousand glasses, sunglasses, E from the Eels. What's going on, bro? I only have one pair. No, you don't. How many pairs of glasses do you have, really? A thousand. Yeah, a thousand plus. I wanted to say a million, but I thought that might be a bit too... No, that's, that's an overestimate. Yeah. The reason I went away for the last four years since the last record was because I, I was deconstructing. I, I needed to take a break. I was worn out from working too hard for too long. Mm. And so I needed to just stop and take a breath, see what was underneath all the walls that we build up and defenses and what's underneath it all, you know. Believe, oh baby, was all so clear to me. But now I know that I was wrong. It's gone, it's gone, 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 it's all right now. Get out of the f***ing road. Today is the day that you... But with the deconstruction, there could be a hidden meaning that perhaps is this the end of the eels? That's the deconstruction of the pack? Yeah. No, it's not that. Definitely not? No, yeah. That would be a cool way to do it, though. Yeah. Just like, be very like overt it, about it. Like, Chris this is it. the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Blowing it up. Blowing it up. Yeah. No. Okay, good. That's I mean, good it could thing. be, for all I know, because you never know. Like, I feel like every album I make is the last one because yeah. you have to just pour everything you got into it. And I think the only way you can do that is feeling like, this is the last one or might be the last one, so I gotta <clears throat> really go for it. You yeah, know? I'll never do this again. Right, because okay. it's so hard, you know, like you just have to, you know, it takes everything you got. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, it could be. I don't okay. Know. You never know. I, I hope it's not. <laughs> now, because art is obviously very subjective, people could listen to the album and maybe feel like it's also about the deconstruction of the world we now live in, because a lot of things have changed probably since you first started making music to now, a la Donald Trump, for example, being in, we probably never expected this to happen and the world is now in a place of disarray. Would it be fair to say that that was on your mind? I mean, I just had this moment where I thought about four years ago, if I imagined four years from now, I'd be sitting here and you would say Donald Trump was the president. Yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> Are you that world doesn't, that world won't exist, you know? So it still sounds fucking weird. There's tons of other things as well you just see in the news you just can't believe it like yeah. white supremacists running free in the streets just it's it's a fucking nightmare. It's a crazy world we live yeah. in. Yeah. I tend to make music that is more you know I feel like real change happens person to person and you know in your own backyard mm -hmm. for you know first but you know of course you want to reach out and help everybody as much as you can but I think that I, you know, I don't, I've always shied away from like political music and that kind of thing. I don't, you know, I, I always thought John Lennon was much better at singing about his mother than at singing about, you know, power to the people and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I always try to avoid that. But like, you know, it's getting to the situation where it's like, you can't just pretend this isn't happening at this point. It's getting so ridiculous. It's know? part and parcel with growing it, up it, in it, culture. It's, you know, I mean, it's just gotten to such a dark level now. What, you know, how can you not address it? Why do you think that people do have an issue with musicians talking about politics? Well, I, I don't know if people have an issue with it. I have an issue with it, like, because unless it's, unless you're interviewing Ted Nugent, like, who's another rock singer you're going to interview who's, like, pro-Trump? Yeah. You know, like, we're all, we all have the same stuff the same. We're all just preaching to the choir. Like, if I, if I go to an Eels concert tonight and I stand up there on the stage and I say a bunch of anti Trump stuff. It's just for cheap applause because, yeah. of course, we all feel the same way. You know, it's it's just too obvious and it's not going to help anything. I want to talk about the musical landscape as it is today, um, especially when it comes to sensitivity over art, because I feel like social media has kind of changed a lot. There may be one lyric in a song and people then they lose ad campaigns or whatever right. the case may be. And I think a lot right. of it is because of social media. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think that musicians should be held accountable for that type of thing, considering that in movies, people get shot all the time and say things, but it's just art? It's very dangerous, yeah, because it's art, you know? And, and like, I think, you know, all art is sacred, more or less. Like, all all jokes are sacred, like, whatever. It's, a, you know, like, people should be able to take whatever, you know, write whatever they want. Like, it's a, your imagination, you know? And, like... Where, I mean, it's all, but it's a case-by-case -case basis. It all mm -hmm. depends yeah. on, you know, it's all about context and 
you know, I don't mean to say anybody can say anything without consequences. Right. But, you know. But they sh but do you feel like it is more sensitive now than it used to be? Oh, for sure. Right. You know, yeah. And that people just can't do... Yeah, it's, I mean, you know, I think it's going to be a while before the dust settles and everybody understands what the rules are and everything, mm. but it's, it's good that we're going to understand that. That there is a conversation. Yeah. What happened to the Father Christmas beard? It comes and goes, and <laughs> it'll come back probably at some point. You know. Is there a reason for growing it out? Like Jay-Z grows his when he's going into work mode and then he shaves, so you know when he's working on an album. Yeah, Is that oh, that's interesting. Tip off. <laughs> uh, no, I don't have anything like that really. Um, it just becomes a thing. You know, you get tired of taking care of it. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, just think about it. every time, every night you go to bed and you're like, over the sheets or under the sheets tonight. You know, everything's yeah. a decision. Everything. There's a lot of grooming. It's just you know, and you get to a point where after a year or so of that, you're like, eh, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Well, I appreciate the time. Yeah, and, me too. Uh, really looking forward to the album. Yeah. Hundred percent. It's been a pleasure, sir. Thank you. Likewise.